Hi guys, Corey Fisher here again. I brought you here today so I want to explain the different trim levels or option levels that we make on our RAV4. We make the LE, which is our base model. We make the XLE, the SE, which is a sport edition, and then we make the limit. Come on with me, I want to show you what they do. We go to hubcaps, no sunroof, okay? When I follow me, I'll open the car. <laughs> All interiors on LEs are black. Now, like I said, this comes standard with all the equipment that we used to be options, power windows, locks, tilt air crews, backup camera, and Bluetooth. This is the, the most affordable of them. All right, guys, this is the XLE. When you move to the XLE trim, you get the alloy wheels. You get the sunroof, standard equipment. You get a power tailgate in the rear, on your key fob, on the dash, and on the rear of the car, where it's a power lift gate for you. The other thing that's really cool when you move to the XLE is we get different trim configurations as far as color inside. We get dual zone climate control. This is the SE. The SE gets the alloy wheels inside. Notice the seating again changed. The SE, we go to soft tech seats, heated, power seats. The other thing that changes on an SE is we go to a sport suspension. Now I'm going to walk you over to the Limited. Standard on Limited is TSS. What TSS is, it's Toyota's new Toyota Safety Sense. With TSS engaged, it'll actually stop you if there, a collision is, is going to happen. First thing I'm going to point out inside, guys, is this new multi-information display. It's fantastic. There's a ton of information on this. So as I scroll through, there's a four-way cross pad on the right side of your steering wheel. As I scroll through, it's going to give you all of your fuel economy. If you have something plotted in on the navigation screen, It'll give you the turn-by-turn -turn directions down in this multi-information screen. So you never have to glance down at the, at the navigation. The other thing it'll do is it'll give you the speed limit of the road you're on. I love it. It's fantastic. There's actually a camera under each mirror on the front of the car and in the rear that gives you a 360-degree view around the car. There's an icon up here by the hazard button. We turn on. And it actually is using a three, all four of those cameras that I talked about, under each mirror, the rear and the front. It's given us a 360 degree view of our car. We can change it. We can go down to ground level. You can see exactly how close to the curbs you are. In the limited in the SE with this bird's eye camera, we get predicted path. Predicted path is, it shows us where we're going. So again, I'm going to check in all my mirrors and I'm going to look around just to make sure because nothing replaces common sense. But this is an extra set of hands. We've put ourselves, Evan and I, really close to a car, but it's given us how much room we have here. Okay, it's showing us where we're going. There's parking sonar. It's gonna beep when we get close to stuff. We haven't talked about hybrids yet. We wanna talk about fuel mileage. How would you like to drive an all-wheel drive SUV that's 34 miles to gallon in town? Come on down and see us here at Toyota. We've got something to show you. We've got a ton of these in the pipe and coming. We're running some specials on them. Come and see me, Corey Fisher at Toyota the Black Hills. I want to show you how great these are.